Hello, hello everyone. Thank you for joining today's Sunday service. This, uh, my name is Suzuki Norio Suzuki, the uh, uh, head minister of this uh, Australian Shoshinka. Okay, uh, today's theme is uh, about the spirit of devotion to three treasures. Uh, spirit of the devotion to three treasures. But it actually, uh, we learn from this book, The Reverse of Buddha, uh, especially chapter one. Now here I am returned. This is uh, uh, one of the best, most important book, Kyoten in Happy Science. And this is a new, a new translation uh, just published last year, new translation, okay? Firstly, we recite Prayer are uh, two words spoken by Buddha together, and uh, then we have a uh, words of gratitude to the Lord. Okay. So, so. The two words spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Okawa. The youth be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. Through the prism of Buddha, there appears the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is a color of teaching. White is a color of saving. Red is a color of justice. Purple is a color of obedience. Blue is a color of thinking. Green is a color of harmony. Silver is a color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha land. Buddha land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love, or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom, the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls resting in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirit are immortal powers. The spirit are immortal forces. The spirit are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of lives. Each of you sail down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If it are not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock. And you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is a meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to pound in the stream. Then you can change your course. A true words mean the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened spoke the true words, and Buddha teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha truth. He brightened up your days, what to put another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you now here listen to me. Never lose your way, down forever. The guiding hand already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Their lives are not limited to this world only. They have three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by. Yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your mind. That is a reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other. And it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law which penetrates present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since we came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It is shall rise to the future, the advice of people to Buddha land. Now here I command. There shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. 
There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, utopia shall be realized. All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. All of us could be the light of bodhisattvas, believe in that life has reality, believe in that love has reality, believe in that the truth has reality. These are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here we vow to do so. Lord God Elkantara, Master Yuho Okawa, Primordial Buddha of the Great Universe, and the Creator who teaches us what is good and evil on earth to establish God's justice, thank you for giving us your great mercy and wisdom every day. Today, we, your disciples, gathered here in order to deepen our faith in Lord and learn the truth deeply with our souls and renew our mission to save the world. Through today's program, we will feel the love of the Messiah in our souls and commit ourselves fully to the spirit of love and spread the truth to the end of the world. Let's, uh, let us now dedicate a sincere gratitude and strong, strong resolve to the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay, thank you again for joining today's program and also thank you for joining uh, prayer for Master's Resurrection every day. Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay, today I choose a book, this book, The Reverse of Buddha, one of the most important masters, uh, Kyoten. Okay. Uh, Happy Science Teaching is uh, roughly uh, speaking, uh, consists of two pillars, two pillars. One is uh, enlightenment. It's uh, from the Buddhist spirit, spirit Buddhist uh, Buddhism spirit. Uh, the other is the love, uh, which can resemble the uh, Christian spirit. So these pillar, two pillars, enlightenment, seeking enlightenment and giving love. These are two pillars. But uh, uh, in truth, in truth, the main main pillar of happy science teaching is a uh, Buddhist spirit, Buddhist spirit. And uh, in the early days, uh, like in nineties, uh, just nineteen ninety around at that time. Uh, at that time, uh, more than fifty books was already published and uh, it's a kind of very diverse book and at the time master said uh, these six books that i put on the screen is a kind of basic teachings that uh, represent the buddhist spirit uh, laws of the sun golden laws the laws of eternity now it's renamed as a ninth dimension these are the trilogy the most important scriptures in the happy science and also the essence of Buddha, essence of Buddha, and uh, eight through eightfold paths, through eightfold paths, and the reverse of Buddha. These uh, six books is uh, one of the uh, 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 most important book in the early days of happy science, and uh, it is also true to today. So, uh, this one, uh, this book, the reverse of Buddha, but is one of the must read, must read book in happy science. 
Okay. And uh, before entering the, the contents of this today's seminar, I'd like to say something about the reverse of Buddha. Uh, okay. You know, this, this place, uh, it's a ajanta, uh, carved, carved temples in the rock. Rock, it is a relic of Buddhist uh, temples. Uh, it must be more than 2,000 years old. And uh, and uh, around there, around there, uh, many people are still Buddhist. And uh, there is a legend that uh, Shakyamuni Buddha, Buddha will be reborn in the country of East after the 2,500 years of his uh, passing away. So must, uh, uh, there is a legend that uh, Shakyamuni Buddha will come to this earth in the Eastern country. 2,500 years after his death. So people are, are being remembering this uh, legend for many years. Also in Japan too, we have a, we have a, uh, we have some uh, teaching that Shakyamuni Buddha will be born to this world after 2,500 years of his uh, passing away. And uh, in 1956, in 1966, uh, okay, it was thought to be the year of the 2,500 years after Shagami Buddha's passed away. So, in many countries in Eastern, in Eastern Southeast Asian countries, um, Thailand, uh, Indi I don't know India, but uh, uh, many Buddhist countries have a very big festival of that uh, anniversary. Uh, no, no, uh, that event. So, this was a uh, this year, 1956, is thought to be the marking year of 2,500 years of Shakyamuni Buddha's pass away, passing away. And at that year, in that year, uh, selecting that year, Master Okawa reborn to Earth. As Master, uh, Mr., uh, uh, Master Okawa reborn, uh, July 7th of 1956. So this is a one one uh, uh, certification that Master Yuhokawa is a reborn of Shakyamuni Buddha. Okay. So now I'd like to read the from the preface of this book, and uh, it refers to the uh, Indian old Indian cities, uh, Rajagriha, Magadha country. Magadha country is around that area. Uh, orange colored area. And also the name Vulture Park appeared. Maybe you may have seen Vulture Peak. This is the Vulture Peak. Okay. Preface to the new edition. About 2,500 years ago, on Vulture Park in India, overlooking the Raja Griffar, the capital of the Magadha Kingdom, I would give sermons to my disciples that deep emotion comes back to my heart. At that time, with shaved heads and in the saffron robes, you are weeping for joy at my summons. Now you are born into a different age, in a different country, wearing a different clothes. However, your heart that feels Buddha truth must be the same. Master and disciples are eternally tied by the roads, Buddha, Dharma, and the Sangha as a one. This eternal book is my gift for you again. Yuko Oka, Master and CEO, Happy Science Group, October 1994. Okay, this is his message to us. So, our heart that feel Buddha truth must be the same. Master and disciple are eternally tied by the roads. Buddha and Dharma and Sangha are the one. Okay. So, the ties between the master, Buddha, and disciples is not on not only on this lifetime. It is created, nurtured through many reincarnations. So, uh, you many of you must have must have the heart that feel Buddha truth, truth, and you may have the feeling or experience the shedding tears when reading Master's book or watching Master's lecture. That is because 
in the depths of our heart that we know deeply about Shakyamuni Buddha or Buddha teaching. It, 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 might, it may be that in the age of uh, Indian, Shakyamuni Buddha, 2,500 years ago, it also it might be because we are disciples of the Hermes in Greek more than 4,000 years ago. Or, or it must be in the age of the entire crowd in Peru. So in the depths of our heart, we have a strong connection, bondage to Buddha. This is why we have a feel, we, we can feel the value of the teaching. Okay. Next, we I'd like to proceed to the next preface, the original edition. As you can see each chapter of this book, the reverse of Buddha describes the core teaching of the Buddhism in the form of a message from Shakyamuni Buddha in his own words to his disciples. For this reason, this book will be the sure guide to those who have awakened to Buddha truth, and at times it will be a stern warning to them. Many people may have studied Buddhism, but I think there has never been a time when the essence of Buddhism has been taught as straightforwardly as in this book, because it is taught as a direct message. It is easy to understand and gets right to the heart of the teachings. This book is a must-have for all of you who undergo spiritual training. You must always keep it at hand. I am honestly hoping that you savor it to the end. Yuho Oka, Master CEO, Happy Science Group, July 1989. Okay. So this is a direct message from Shakyamuni Buddha to us, the beloved disciples, disciples of Buddha. Uh, it's not uh, this, this, this lifetime, but uh, it is an uh, everlasting bondage between us and the Master. Okay, uh, there is something we should note about how to how to uh, okay uh, learn study the teachings. Okay, uh, in Japan, a Japanese language, it is a goshihoshi. Goshihoshi. It means uh, five kinds of dharma discipline. Five kinds of dharma discipline. Uh, there are many. Some of the scripture was very important, so we must do this kind of five disciplines. So first, having uh, means keeping like uh, this book, the reverse of Buddha or the true words spoken by Buddha. Keep it at your hand every time. Whenever, whenever you are in the office, whenever you are in that home, you should be keeping it. And you can, you can uh, anytime you can open the page and see the contents. This is having is a must. Then reading, reading. So reading is basic thing. You should read uh, uh, repeatedly, uh, reading the uh, this kind of scripture. And the third is reciting. Reciting is good. Uh, just reading is uh, sometimes not enough. Uh, when you recite, recite, uh, it will come to your heart using your voice. You can hear the, your own voice and come down to your heart. So reciting is also good. Not only the true words spoken by Buddha, but also this book, uh, Reverse of Buddha, is it's a direct word from Shakyamuni Buddha. So it is very important. So by reciting, you can memorize some of the important parts. So this is another good point of reciting. Okay. Goshi Hoshi. Oh, Juji. Uh, Juji, doku, doku, dokshon, doku. Juji, doku, uh, ju, ju a, doku ju no ju. A, ato de mata yimasu. Kara, kopi wa shosha. Shosha, copying, copying means uh, just writing, write, copy. In older days, uh, we have no copy machine at the time. So just copying by hand, copying by hand. Shosha, Shosha, Kakyutsu. Ju, Ju, Ju. Ah, so that's what I'm going to do. Hi. 
。エクセルには、解説って書いて、下説って言います。はいはい。ハビンが10時。OK、OK。あはいはい。Um, okay, this is、uh, explained in the silent Buddha. Silent Buddha, you know? Chimok no Buddha. Okay, so this kind of uh, uh, spiritual discipline is very important to learn the study, the one of the, some of the basic and important、uh, scriptures. Okay,、uh, in order to remember the bondage of master and disciple, I'd like to watch, we'd like to watch the、uh, important scene, most important scene from the、uh, Happy Science movie, The Rose of the Sun. Rose of the Sun. Okay.、Uh, we, we,、uh, the disciple is gathering at the Vulture Peak, Vulture Peak, and the Master is,、uh, Shakamuni Buddha is giving a lecture. And suddenly, the many, many angels appear from the,、uh, many bodhisattvas appear from the, The ground, they are called the、uh, uh, uh, the Bodhisattva of the earth. Bodhisattva of the earth is appearing. Okay. And uh, uh, many, of the, many of the disciples at that time uh, started to re,、uh, remember, started to remind their own past lives with other Buddha. Okay. Let's watch the movie. Oh, sorry. These are the disciples I have guided over the years. Disciples? That's who they are? But tell me, how are you able to create and gather so many angels in only the 40 years since you have attained enlightenment? Because this is not the first time that I have attained enlightenment and become the Buddha. Ever since time immemorial, I have descended to earth repeatedly to teach the truth. As the Buddha. And in those civilizations that have already disappeared, a large number of angels were created through my guidance. Thus, over a long period of time, the amount of light on earth has been steadily increasing. These angels who are assembled here have lived as my disciples through various ages. And have dedicated themselves to conveying the truth. And similarly, it is each one of you here who has repeatedly reincarnated to this earth along with me, and have lived many lives as my disciples.
remember now. to all of us now. Please entrust us with the honorable mission to spread the laws of the sun throughout the world. We can do it. We will do it. We lived as your disciples many times. Please allow us to live as your disciples once again. Every single time that my brother souls have descended to the earth, they have dedicated themselves to the creation of a utopia on that land. But in 2,500 years from now, the golden light will descend to a land in the east with the greater mission of creating an ideal land on a global scale. Create an ideal land on a global scale? Buddha will extend salvation. He will offer to all the people on earth, and he will purify the entire world. He will immerse the world with his tremendous light of enlightenment, that of which has never been seen before. Furthermore, he will shine down his light of compassion. It will illuminate even the depths of hell and free its inhabitants from the prison of their souls. <laughs> Thus, Earth will enter the Age of the Sun. I just can't believe this. It sounds too good to be true. The one who will descend into the land in the east will be the very core of my spirit. He is the eternal Buddha, Grand Savior, also known as the Lord El Kanta. Descend. The parent of human souls will finally descend to Earth. The eternal Buddha, El Kantare, is a supreme existence that possesses all the features of light of my brother's souls that have ever descended to Earth, and is even mightier than all these energies combined. It is the source of the light that keeps illuminating mankind from time immemorial and toward the eternal future. Essentially, it is not supposed to incarnate on Earth. It's amazing! It must be a miracle! Then that means we all must have studied the truth through numerous reincarnations. <gasps> We were waiting for that moment. The master is who teaches the laws, while the disciples spread the laws. Awaken to your mission and be well prepared, and assemble before eternal Buddha. Okay. Now the uh
come, we have successfully come to happy science and then studying the teaching of Lord Alcantara. Uh, it is not because by chance, by chance, it is because we had a strong desire to learn and meet Lord Alcantara in this age. That's why we are born in this age and come to happy science. We have a we had a strong desire to uh, it is it is uh, built up through the many reincarnations many reincarnations okay okay this is a very important section now we are going to uh, proceed to the first part awaken All of you, my disciples, do you remember my voice? You must have heard me speak long ago, for tens of thousands of years, hundreds of thousands or even millions of years. You have been born on earth with me and in the real world too. You have continued to learn the past as my disciples. All of you, my disciples, now here I have returned. Be delighted at my reverse. Notice my reverse, awaken to my reverse, to this fact, to this time. Far in the past, in the land of India, you must have heard my speak. Thousands of, tens of thousands of my eternal disciples who heard my teaching in the land of India, you must awaken. Are you still indulging yourself in the deep sleep? How can I start my true work when you are remaining asleep? When I awaken, my, all my disciples must awaken as well. When I speak, all my disciples must gather to me. My eternal disciples, hear this dear sound, hear this dear voice. Remember these dear words from me. I, I have always told you how great human beings are, how great human souls are, and how great a mission human beings have. My eternal disciples, I have told you before, the body, face, the mind you now have may not appear to be emitting a diamond-like brilliance, but clear your mind and look within you. Clear your mind. Uh, look at your true self. When you look at your true self with a clear mind, you will find a diamond-like self there. You will find the light of a diamond there. That must have been what I taught you. Okay, this is our first part, awaken. Okay. So when uh, Buddha appeared on earth, first thing he did was to awaken the disciples, his beloved disciples. That's why he started to speak, and give lectures, uh, give give. Uh, give out books. These books is a kind of a, a way to be awakened to masters or Buddha's reverse. Okay. Uh, now I would like to show one scene from the uh, Happy Science first movie, the uh, okay uh, terrifying revelation of uh, revelation of the Nostradamus. It, and in that, we have a scene that the angels are trying to awaken the disciples, angels. It is very moving scene. Sude ni chikyu ishiki no han sayo ni yotte, tsugi tsugi to tenpen chi no chokou ga dete iru. Isoi de chijou no tenshi tachi o mezame sase te hoshi.地上に降り立つ天使たちを守護指導せし者たちを守護霊よ指導霊よ日本に世界に光を広げるために政治経済科学芸術教育宗教
あらゆる分野に光の天使たちを送り込んでいます。あるものは目覚めまたあるものは気づきの途中にありますされど未だ多くの者たちは地上の波動に心を奪われ眠りの中で目覚めることができないでいるのですおそいおそいおそすぎるのです太陽はすでに昇り約束の時はもう来ているのですもはや猶予ありません伝えるのです目覚めさせるのです天使の誓いを成就せよ Okay. There must have been many ways of awakening the truth.、Uh, as for myself, I was attracted to the bookshop, especially in the, the corner of the religious books every day. I, after I work, work is over, I went to the bookshop to see a new religious book. And some,、uh, on some day, I found the、uh, Rose of the Sun. That was my awakening point. And you might be、uh, the same experience, or you must be. A kind of a,、uh, okay,、uh, some good friend that, that introduced you to the happy science. Well, in many ways,、uh, this is a awakening point, is very, very important. So, okay, so, so there are two things we must be awakened with. We must do things. One is to awaken with the reverse of Buddha. Or appearance of the、uh, El Cantare, why it should be very, very important. The other thing is that awaken to our Buddha nature, a diamond like existence. Okay, to, so we must awaken to two things. Okay, so、mm, it is very, some kind, in some people, it is very easy to awaken to the existence of Buddha. Just One copy of book, just one lecture. When you watch the master lecture, join the lecture, or when you read this book or other book, you, oh, it's an it's a authentic one. It is the one I have been searching for many years. And then you come to the happy science.、Uh, it is because you have, a, you have a very strong relation to Buddha or truth. So, In the depths of your soul, you have a strong connection because of your repeated incarnations. In the, in the many, many incarnations, you have a strong connection to truth or Buddha. That's why you awaken very easily. And some people are very, very difficult. And some people are slow to,、uh, but gradually awaken to the truth.、Uh, some people come to happy science by guided by someone and、uh, studied to learning. and、uh, Uh, they don't, couldn't believe at first, but、uh, gradually they come to know oh, oh, this is the truth in the course of three years or ten years,、uh, five years, or something like that. But、uh, there are some people who re totally refuse to accept that. Actually, so such people exist. Okay.、Uh, Master sometimes mentioned that the famous scholar, Buddhist scholar, Buddhist scholar, Hajime Nakamura. He's a world famous Buddhist scholar and studied many, many years and passed away. But he couldn't accept it Buddha as Master Okawa as Buddha.、Uh, actually, when he was alive, he was living in Tokyo and I was a s h i b u c h o of that area. And actually, I visited his house. <laughs> and actually, I could m e e t him and I offered Master's book, but he refused. He refused. So、uh, he couldn't accept and he went into the abysmal hell.、Uh, that was not because they, he rejected my book, but also, but his thought was not good. His thought was kind of materialism. He didn't see 
the spiritual side of Buddhism. That's why he uh, he uh, uh, go down to the abysmal hill. But uh, uh, there's another good uh, Buddhist scholar whose name is Shoko Watanabe. Uh, I happen to know his uh, his uh, his uh, 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 cousin cousin, but uh, he was a good-hearted person. He although he was a scholar studied many things but he's also a monk monk and he he believed in the another world and also he believed to, uh, he know he knew master okawa is a real buddha not only buddha but also eternal buddha because his teaching was so great so he can understand because he must have a strong spiritual bone to buddha himself okay so Awaken to the truth uh, of the reverse of Buddha is very, very important. But, uh, okay, it is, okay. Uh, but uh, actually, who can who can easily understand that truth is a very selected person. Selected person. You have a very lucky. You have a accumulated wisdom in your soul. And please, please, uh, okay, please, uh, make it uh, keep that great treasure, <laughs> uh, okay, and quick uh, and keep running the teachings to the end, okay. So uh, the other thing, another thing we must awaken to is that uh, diamond-like existence. It is uh, the it is uh, about uh, Buddha uh, Buddha nature, Buddha nature. Uh, this is one of the core teaching of Buddhism. Without this, Buddhism cannot be a uh, teaching of uh, enlightenment. Because of this uh, diamond-like existence, we can, we, uh, we, can, uh, we can become a greater person, okay? So if we deny this, we should be like a kind of a, like a robot or animals like existence. So it is very, very important. Okay, here we'd like to watch Master's lecture, most important lecture, uh, the victory of faith. Kami wa idai naru kana, haru ka naru mukashi ni, kono dai uchu ga dekiru isen yori omoi ni te sonzai shita. その思いとはすべてのものを包み込みすべてのものを育み、そして我が作りたる者たちをあなた方は。偉大なる者となれ我のごとくに偉大なる者となれと命ぜられたそうしてできたのがあなた方一人一人の魂であるわずか二メートルにも満たぬ小さな肉体に宿っているからと言って己の存在を悲傷なるものだと思ってはならん取るに足らん小さなものであると思ってはならんあなた方の魂の奥底に我が刻み込んだるは不滅の英知であり不滅の力であるその英知とその力を見出すのだそう so we must remember we have a God-like power within us, the same kind of 
power or wisdom in us. So it is very basic of the truth. Okay. Now we'd like to proceed to the next part, devotion to the three treasures. Devotion to the three treasures. My eternal disciples, all of you, my disciples, hear my voice. I must have taught you before, devote yourself to the three treasures. The three treasures are Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. Buddha means the Buddha incarnate. He is the enlightened one, awakened one. The Dharma is a rose that the Buddha teaches, the teaching that the Buddha gives. The teaching of Buddha are one vehicle, uh, penetrating through the past, present, future. They are one vehicle, one way of teaching, and one con content. For the past millions of years, tens of millions of years, or even longer, human beings have created various societies, various ages, and various cultures. Despite having different hues in each age, in each region, and each culture, Buddha's laws have always been one vehicle. It means the real teaching of Buddha have existed through all ages. Many of you who hear my voice now uh, have probably listened to my teaching in many ways in the course of your lives throughout the numerous reincarnations. The teaching must have always taught in one thing. In the great universe is a grand spirit who governs it. When the grand spirit uh, sends a part of himself to earth, it becomes, becomes the Buddha incarnate. Because of his mission and authority, the Buddha incarnate teaches the laws of great grand spirit. The laws of the great grand spirit are taught through the Buddha, and the laws taught through Buddha will be compiled as scriptures. By the effort of, effort of his disciples, the teachings flowing in these scriptures are called everlasting laws. People must live by these laws and under these laws. It does not matter whether the Buddha incarnate is alive on earth, even after the Buddha has left this earth, these everlasting roads shall be right to lead many people. They shall be the beacon of the lighthouse that will guide many people. O people, blessed are those who are born when the Buddha is on earth. Those of you who are born in the time when the Buddha is not on earth, rely on the roads, live by the roads, live under the roads and live for the roads. It is the Sangha that nurtures, protects, and spreads the Buddha, Buddha's roads. In, in other words, the Sangha is a group of the disciples. How far and wide Buddha's law will spread or not will depend on the power of the Sangha. Okay. Three treasures are Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. Buddha is a Buddha incarnate, uh, means uh, Buddha living as a human. But, uh, he represents a grand spirit, a grand consciousness of the uh, universe, uh, universe. It means it is, uh, uh, it is uh, okay, uh, a prim primordial, primordial Buddha of the universe. So the Buddha represents the primordial Buddha of the universe. Okay, Dharma, Dharma is a teaching of Buddha. And uh, Dharma is uh, actually coming from this uh, uh, primordial Buddha. Dharma is uh, explaining about the mind, heart of the uh, primordial Buddha. Okay, so that's because the this is one people. Core teaching of the Buddha Dharma is always same because it is come from the primordial Buddha himself. It doesn't change much. The core teaching is the same. Okay. Okay. So, and the Sangha, now happy science. Okay. Hmm. So, I, I haven't bring, brought it now, but uh, okay. Uh, in the Master's book, on the mission, on the mission, Master told us. The teaching is uh, so great that even though, even if the, all the teachings, all the religions 
uh, all, all the past religions, all the philosophies become uh, obsolete or vanished. If the teaching happy science are there, we can create a great society. So we can, we can abolish all the teaching existences. If we, uh, we, can, we, can, we can keep the happy science teaching, we can create a great society from now. That's because not only Shagami Buddha, Jesus Christ, Moses, Confucius, Socrates, the, uh, this, all the power of the heavenly world now come to the happy science to help create new teachings, new religions. Okay. So, happy science itself is not a man made organization. It's not a man made organization. It is a creation with the heavenly power. All the God, all the God in the heavenly world is now helping to create happy science. So, it is quite different from other religions or other organizations. Okay. Okay. So, how can we practice the three uh, devotion to three treasures. How do you practice three uh, devotion to treasures? So devotion to Buddha, uh, we must we must keep the facing El Cantare Buddha every day. The most important thing is to to recite to us spoken by Buddha every day, every morning, every night, to to be connected to Buddha himself. This is a very very important thing to keep our face. Uh, so. This is a one thing. And how about uh, da Dharma? How about devotion to Dharma? Uh, so, okay. Before devotion to, before you devote yourself to Dharma, you must know about the teachings. So, first thing you must do is learn, study the teaching every day. Studying the teaching every day. If you are a devotee member, you should read at least one book, one master's book every week. You should study one book every week. Uh, that's not so, so possible. We can do that. We can do that. So we should practice that. Okay. And uh, how about Sangha? How about Sangha? Okay. Firstly, we should join the Sangha activities, like many, many seminars or this kind of a Sunday service uh, actually coming or joining online. It might be okay. So, firstly, we should come to Temples and become friends with make a uh, Dharma friend is a starting point, and uh, joining seminars and together running together studying together also acting together. Sometimes we do a missionary work uh, in the town or in some event. So please join these kind of things. Okay, and. Uh, Master taught us this Dharma, Buddha, Dharma, Sangha consists the Buddha's body, Buddha's body. It is Buddha's body. So uh, Buddha is a complete existence. Dharma is uh, already, have, we have more than 3,000 books. It's a great many teachings. And also Sangha, it became worldwide, but not enough, not enough. You should be become stronger, uh, 10 times or 100 times more, but uh, these are the Buddha's body. And you, you, we, ourselves, is within the Buddha's body. You understand? Uh, each one of us is a kind of a small cell of Buddha's body. So you are connected to Buddha. You are the part of Buddha. You understand? Okay. Also, Temples like this is a part of Buddha's body. Buddha's body. Yeah. Well, I remember one point, one, uh, uh, one, uh, one small thing that uh, when I was in Tokyo, 
there was a kind of a uh, okay uh, happy science training center which hadn't been used so much af after some point. It was about around 1990, more than 30 years ago. There was a kind of a, a, tem a small temple which wasn't used so uh, three years or more. And uh, at some point, Master said something about that temple. temple. Uh, he felt some kind of itchy feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so you must go to that temple and check it, uh, check it. And uh, some of the disciples, uh, staff member went to that temple and find out the temple is uh, full of the uh, spider's net. <laughs> <laughs> so because they didn't come to the temple and uh, didn't clean the temple, it became uh, full of spider's net. So master felt itchy, a strange feeling. So. It means that it is a temple is also master's, master's body, connected. Also, we all connected to master. So you might have a good experience or good uh, activities, or you might have some kind of a bad deed or bad activities. And all thing is actually consciously or unconsciously connected to Buddha. You must know. So we should, we should be a uh, kind of a very responsibility to keep ourselves uh, religiously clean, clean. Okay, so this is a, we are we are we we consist of we ourselves consist of master's body body. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I can't talk much, but. Uh, uh, one thing about I'd like to talk about uh, uh, devotion to three treasures is about Japanese history. Japanese history, okay? You may know about Great Buddha statue in Nara, Nara, Todai Temple, Nara's Todai Temple. It is very famous. It this statue was built about. 100, 200 years ago, 1,200 years ago, and more, uh, okay? 100 to uh, 1,200, 500 years ago. It is 8th century, 8th century. And uh, Master once taught us that uh, in the history of Buddhism, in the history of Buddhism, it is uh, more than 2,500 2, years. That in the history of Buddhism, the height, what, when is the height of Buddhism occurred? When is the uh, most, most, uh, most prosperous time of the Buddhism? We thought, we thought uh, it must be in India, we must be in the China, but Master said it is the time of Nara Buddhism. This is, a, this is the height of Buddhism in the history of two sons. 2,500 years ago. And it is just a me medium, be just a between uh, of the 2,500 years ago. Just a parish of the Master uh, Shakyamuni Buddha, and the Ribbon, Ribbon of Buddha as a Master Okawa. This is the middle time. It was the height of Buddhism. Okay. So, and, uh, oh, I couldn't forget. Okay. Hmm. Okay. And before that, before that, uh, there there was a very important person in Japanese history. I may have forgotten to put it into this. Ah, uh, yeah, this one. Okay. The Prince Shotok. You know, you know Prince Shotok? He's uh, one of the greatest figures in the Japanese history. History. Okay. And uh, he was, he, he lived before the uh, uh, creation of the Nara's, Nara's Buddha, Buddhist statue. And uh, he was a prince of the emperor's family. He didn't become, pre uh, he didn't become, uh, become the emperor, but he was actually doing the same thing as the as emperor. 
and he introduced Buddhism into this country. And uh, uh, he created uh, 70 articles constitution of Japan. 70 articles of constitution of Japan. And the second constitution, second article is about three treasures. Deeply respect the three treasures. It is in the second article of the uh, constitution of Japan. So it meant, it meant Japan is built upon Buddhism. Buddhism. Which this, uh, from that on, the Buddhism becomes the pillar of the, the Japanese country. So this is a very, very important task, uh, job he did. And uh, recently, Master revealed, actually, he is a reincarnation of the Shakyamuni Buddha. Uh, it's not the core spirit, but uh, he's an eight, eight dimensional appearance, but uh, he is a reincarnation of Shakyamuni Buddha's branch spirit. Also, he reincarnated as a Lincoln in the later years in the United States. So, he laid a foundation of the Japanese history, the Buddhism, Buddhism based his, uh, Japan. Okay. So, oh, oh, maybe time is kind of pressing. <laughs> so, hmm. Okay, going to the second, next part. Everlasting value. My eternal disciples, do not compromise with the value judgment of this age in which you are now living in this lifetime. In this current early earthly life, there must be many attractive professions. There must be many glamorous, glamorous jobs in the worldly sense. However, you mustn't allow your mind to be caught up in such a things. You mustn't allow your mind to be distracted by people's gossip. You mustn't allow your mind to be swayed by people's words. Throughout your eternal incarnations, you have always listened to my words and followed my words. Your true, sincere heart that lied in the depths of your mind must surely know what the everlasting value the everlasting value means becoming connected to the laws that Buddha teaches, living under the laws that Buddha teaches, promoting and spreading the laws that Buddha teaches, conveying the laws that Buddha teaches to each and everyone's heart, and pouring these laws into each and everyone's heart was warm blood. I'm sure you have always believed that uh, these to be the most valuable, all of you, Never be deluded by worldly values. All of you, never be deluded by worldly value judgment. All of you, think about the true meaning of your lives. I must have always taught you that human beings have eternal lives. What is most important in living an eternal life is to become aware of the great power that guarantees both people an eternal life. Give gratitude to the great power and be determined to live for the great power. This being so, within this great wheel of truth, let your incarnation go through in cycles. Let your life go through the, its cycles. The Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha are the indiv individually precious, independent, though they may appear. They are trinity. Even if the Buddha is there, there's no meaning for the Buddha to incarnate without any means to convey the law. Even if the Dharma is there, it is dead without the Sangha to spread. Even if the Sangha is there, their heart have no, nowhere to rest without the Buddha. So the Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha bring up each other, and together they form a single power. Truly, when you think about the, what the laws are, you will know that the laws are inseparable from human life. Okay. So, uh, Buddha, Dharma, Sangha become a great power, get together. It's not, uh, it may seem independent, but uh, get together, we can create a great power. So 
master sometimes uh, teach about the uh, okay okay yeah dharma view dharma view okay dharma view represent shagamuni buddha uh, it's a uh, it's uh, like preaching the road to spread the road. It's like a, uh, like it's a turning wheel of wheel of, wheel of the okay, chariot chariot. You know, chariot is a fighting fighting vehicle fighting vehicle that that uh, and fighting wheel very strong to to lay down other enemies and spread the roads. So they are powerful. They. Sh they uh, imply the powerful teaching that spread all over the all over the country, all over the world. So we must become the part of this Dharma wheel by devoting to three treasures. So devoting to treasure, treasures, each one of us become the part of this great wheel to truth to to that that going cycle and. Uh, spreading the teaching all over this country, all over the world. So if you don't join this cycle, your life is almost meaningless. Our life is meaningless. <laughs> just, uh, just yourself. You can, you can live yourself only, but it's, it's not so important. Just yourself. But if you join this great, great journey, your life is become like a diamond, gold, Everlasting value. That's everlasting value. Okay. So, in order for that, in order for that, the learning Buddha teaching is very important. Learning Buddha teaching, study Buddha teaching every day is very, very important. Okay. Hmm. Now, I'd like to talk a, a kind of interesting story about Shakyamuni Buddha. And that relates to today's, uh, today's uh, incident about Master Ryuho Kawa. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't explain the uh, content of this, uh, this uh, I illustration, but I will tell you about the story, what happened to Shakamuni Buddha. Okay. Uh, and someday, uh, when uh, it was in India, India, and uh, it was uh, about uh, Jeta Bena. Jeta Bena. Jeta Bena is uh, one of the biggest monastery in the in that India, and uh, Shakyamuni and disciples are living there and actively preaching the law to the people there. But someday, someday, Shakyamuni Buddha suddenly disappeared. Disappeared from the Jeta Bena. Monastery. People are surprised, surprised. And uh, yeah, they're upset. Oh, where? Where? She's gone. They couldn't find anywhere. Anywhere. And uh, they, they started to create a kind of a golden statue of Buddha to, to pray for him to come back. But after around three months, one of the disciples to come to realize that Shakyamuni Buddha is now in heaven, heaven, and preaching the teaching to the heavenly people, including his uh, mother, Maya, who has passed away just after his uh, giving, uh, giving birth to him. Her mother, his mother, Maya, was just passed away after a few days of his birth. So he didn't, uh, she didn't know his teachings, but all. So, the Shagan Buddha went to the uh, the heavenly world and uh, teaches uh, his teaching to many people uh, there. And uh, after that, he come back to the earth. Three months, three months after that. And why he left this earth? Why he left? Just for teaching to his mother or the people there? It's not. It's not. At that time. Must, uh, the Shakyamuni Buddha found that people have become kind of lazy. Lazy. They don't want to 
much about uh, they don't they don't they are not eager to learn Shakyamuni's Shakyamuni Buddha's teaching, so they became lazy. So, uh, so he was master uh, Shakyamuni Buddha kind of disappointed about that situation. So he thought it'd be necessary for just go away for the heavenly world and leave them without teaching for several days or months in order him, in order them to become eager to learn Buddha's teaching. <laughs> uh, so after three months, they are all rejoiced about the coming back of the Shakyamuni Buddha. This picture shows the coming back from the heavenly world of Shakyamuni Buddha. So, Does it sound sounding bell in your heart? <laughs> yeah. So Master gave us so many teachings, so many teachings, including the laws of hell. But some people are not eager to learn because they felt it's enough. <laughs> uh, it's enough mind is in some ways are good because it it is uh, it teaches us no know to be co content with. But we shouldn't be content with the master teaching. We should be eager to learn more, learn more. Because in order to save the many people, we, have, we need more teaching. And we also need to, we also want to teach, learn the Elkantari teaching. Elkantari's role is not, not taught yet. So we should be eager to learn. So, Master Oka himself have now in the heavenly world away from his body 40 days. So I suppose he'll come back in uh, three months. That means in the, the, in the um, June, around the middle June or before, before July, I suppose he'll come back. But before that happened, we should be eager to learn his teaching, also be eager to spread the teaching. This is the way we should be as a devotee, member of Happy Science. So this is the way we, you should be preparing for the master's resurrection. Okay, this will be the, okay. Hi. Can you, can you talk in English? Because some people are going. Oh, no. I think probably one of the biggest problems right now is um, a lot of uh, people are actually using the the, the Dharma in the wrong ways. Akio, Akio, that's what they say in Japanese. I know. So, oh, I know. おお、あの、自分の利害のために悪用してるな、な、なんかあの、あ、あの、そう、そういうのがあって、多分それは反省しないと。So oh, so, uh, I think that this is just just what I I um uh, feel from its, my own inspiration is that uh probably master's uh temporary death right now. He he probably wants people to self reflect on uh their misuse of the dharma yeah you know, for their own personal benefits. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think a lot of people have to self-reflect about that. Thank you. Thank you. This must be the reason, one reason. Also, uh, actually, it happened that uh, some disciples, or well, many disciples, don't want to hear, don't want to know about the laws of hell. <laughs> they don't want to refuse. They don't refuse the laws of hell because... If we learn the laws of hell, we must self-reflect ourselves. Mm. Uh, they don't want to self-reflect their situation. So we must be, we must be check about yourself ourselves for that. Uh, so, 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 we must accept um, difficult teachings. If they may, they may accuse ourselves, <laughs> yeah, we must accept everything uh, that master teaches us. Okay. okay. Thank you for your question. Okay, this is a conclusion of this uh this today's talk. Now, lastly, we like to decide to uh, uh 
uh, prayer to a cantare together. Prayer to El Cantare. Lord El Cantare, you are our Lord, Buddha and Savior. We believe you are the master of masters, the highest God of this planet Earth. We believe you have the supreme power, both in heaven and on Earth. You are the great spiritual being, united consciousness of Buddha and God. Lord El Cantare, we believe you will lead all people to true happiness. We believe the fourfold path of love wisdom, self-reflection, and progress, perfect and principles of happiness. And we truly believe these principles will save the entire world. O oh Lord, please grant us the holy mission to spread the truth all over the world. We will cross the vast ocean, the lighter beacon of truth in every corner of the world. O oh Lord, please entrust us with your great vow to save all humankind. We will devote our lives to creating Buddha and Utopia. Lord El Cantare, as long as you are in heaven and the disciples on earth, we will hand down a mission to future generations, achieve your great vow. We, the disciples of El Cantare, will join together to become the ship of your great vow to save the people and bring them a show of enlightenment. O oh Lord, we thank you very much for granting us a prayer to El Cantare. This concludes our prayer for uh, 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 today's Sunday service. Thank you for joining.